that changed the game yeah. for me. I think because we started to be, and then he sent back he, when he sent back that change. I was like, "That's it. Oh, that's that's it. This, yeah. yeah, I had that's it. and everything just came from this." So. Nice. All right, peace. Uh, it's conscious. Uh, day two of the A three C festival, and uh, it's showing some uh, international love. We got the homie King Rain in the building. What's going on, fam? How you doing? Nah, it's good, fam. It's chilling, chilling. Now, um, it's crazy because I've been getting some of your music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I got like a couple of joints. Mm -hmm. And that last one, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, man, see now. It was a chemical romance? I played that one. Mm -hmm. Before dope that? Joint. No, but the one, uh, a Pretty Girl Lost. Pretty Girl Lost, right? That, we had people call up. And he's like, yo, what's that song? What the yeah. hell is that? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, that's <laughs> Canada hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, that's dope. So I gave the name and, you know what I'm saying, the whole thing. And that's off the new album, right? Right, right, what, right. What's the name of that joint? Pretty Girl Lost. So the album? Yeah, Sincere. Sincere. Yeah, but yeah, that song, Pretty Girl Lost, it's like, um, that's the one that I, I, always, I always feel like, I can't say if it's my favorite, but yeah. it's the one that I feel like is going to probably get the most love. Yeah. That, you know, it, so it's like it the sleeper. Was. I'm waiting to, yeah. until things build up to drop that. Did you know that going into it? Like, when you heard when the When I was beat, making it? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I mean, because it wasn't the last joint that I made, so I wasn't yeah. sure. Yeah. That, you know, but I felt, yeah, it definitely had that Thanks potential. Because, I mean, also, the, the message is mad universal. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I mean, you don't have to be a pretty girl to feel that message. You yeah, know what I mean, well, every girl should feel pretty. Every girl, I mean, every girl should. Feel, but I mean, you could be a dude feeling that. You yeah, know what I mean, like well, just some dude just too. the hate. Some you know, the yeah. hate. You know what I mean? The yeah. hate that you grew up with, whatever, whatever people hate you for, or misjudge you for. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that's what that song is about. And yeah. people growing. I know dudes that grew up, you know, kind of yeah. like doloists because. People had they misconceptions of them, you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. sometimes when you're quiet, people are like, "Oh, you're they stuck just, up." Yeah, yeah. yeah, and they don't, and they don't uh, realize that maybe you're just quiet. Yeah, exactly. You know yeah, I mean? I've had that same problem coming up. Exactly. Because so, like, like, you just you're like, damn, what? You know, I mean, like, it's hard to just jump into something like when you see people talking. Yeah, you know, and, like, and when people say something, if you, if you don't, if you're not responding to it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then people just assume that what they heard was true. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, unless you're out there defending it all yeah, the time. Exactly. Which happens in that same situation with, you know, young girls or with dudes. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just it's a universal, like, language, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a lesson in that. So and then the melody, the melody's crazy. Yeah. I give it up to Doc Malone for that change. That change, like, that yeah. change, dun, 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 dun. that changed the game yeah. for me. I think, because we started to be, and then he sent back, he, when he sent back that change, I was like, that's it. Oh, that's that's it. This, yeah. yeah, I had that's it. and everything just came from this. So. Nice, nice. So you heard the beat and then you wrote to it and drew. Okay. Yeah, we did. We worked on the beat together. Oh, okay. myself and Dark Malone. Yeah, oh, that's dope. And, but it, but like he, like I said, I think he put the the one part in it that made the song like that changed that melody and yeah. you know that put it over the top. Let's nice, say, nice. Know? All right. So like I was saying, um, you know, I want to be able to get more joints because I want to do a, a more in depth interview with you yeah, yeah. but I want to get our listeners more because I want to be like yo that song Pretty Girl Lost mm -hmm. got a new joint from him mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm, I'm saying mm -hmm. and just it, and that way it kind of builds it up yeah. and then it just keeps saying Canada 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 mm -hmm. but now you're in A3C mm -hmm. repping for Canada mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the the showcase that you got going on uh, we got a showcase tonight it's a Canadian 416 showcase yeah. and uh, it's uh, it's you know it's at the department store yeah. You know, everybody's going and doing like the little 15 minutes and yeah. showing what we got. Um, it should be nice, you know. I think it's 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 a hard grind. You know what's ironic about this, yeah. though, is that Atlanta went through the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Right? And yeah. we're, I, I personally feel like we're up next, you yeah. know. So, um, and it's a T dot O dot. There's a T right? dot O. Toronto in the house. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of You gotta of say that dot at the end. Can I people say like T dot O? You know how Isn't T, it T dot O dot? The, the T dot O dot, T dot O. I don't really like any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that the truth. Oh. I try to avoid saying that, oh, but okay. it's hard because it's so much. So everybody says But yeah. they, they have, they have, nobody's come up with anything cooler yet. <laughs> and I don't like the six either. I don't like that either. So. The six? Yeah, I don't like Wait, that. Wait, why either. is it the six? Uh, yeah, that's exactly, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it the Maybe six? it'll grow on me. <laughs> For four with six, but oh. but other but our other in the area code is nine oh five. <laughs> we got nine oh five and four one six. It's like Bronx would be like nine oh five and Brooklyn would be like four one six. Yeah, or Manhattan's four one six. But, it's, but it's all New York. Yeah, you know what I mean? Huh? So it's random. So now, okay, so the, I think because it's dope that A three C has these kind of like local showcases mm -hmm. that kind of brings uh, like like. Uh, it brings attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like we were talking about before, I can understand other countries having problems because they speak different languages. Yeah. But it's weird when Canada, which is 
basically, you know, it's We're all right there. Like, yeah, like, why do you think that is difficult to really get that? I don't know because it's like, well, Drake only really blew up because he got came out here. He came you know out. He came out. He hooked up a Wayne and all that. And he, you know, so what? What he did tried you in Canada. He definitely tried. Oh yeah, no, I, I've been catching up with Drake from way back. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. I've seen him rhyming on college stations. Yeah, so I know yeah, he put yeah. in work. He put in his work. You know? you know what I mean. And so, like, is it that? Is it the same thing? Because in Atlanta, they had to go out. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. They had to travel and do more for yep. people to really recognize him. And then plus, they have like the so so death. Mm-hmm. Here, they have the saying? infrastructure. Yeah, the we infrastructure. don't. We don't have the infrastructure, and I think part of it is that we don't like. We still got this little brother complex. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know if it's on our side or the other side. It's just like we've always been there. Yeah. But we're like the little brother. It's like, yeah, my little brother came out. It's sort of like <laughs> it's sort of like Russell Simmons used to talk about. Um, uh, run, run like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, go fuck with your little brother. Yeah. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Now he, then he he just happened to be the biggest, you know, right, most, yeah. one of the most influential rappers right, yep. ever. So it's, it's it's one of those things, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's like I, I don't think that anybody's being malicious about anything yeah, or yeah. you know trying to hold on to anything. Yeah. I think at this point they know that we can rap. You know, there was a lot of um, I guess misconceptions about Canada. Period. You mm-hmm. know, igloos and all that <laughs> stuff. And people are getting wise now. You know, yeah. I mean. Even up till ten years ago, people were, but people started putting Toronto in their raps. And, yeah, you yeah. Know, I think Luda yeah. said it in the rap mm-hmm. that was big, and you know we go up to Caravana and all that stuff. Yeah. Caravana has been. Oh yeah. Like, we've been live for a long time, but the thing is, is that now people are starting to know about it, mm-hmm. and I don't want to sound like an asshole or anything, but I kind of liked it when nobody knew about it. <laughs> like I was selfish. You know? yeah, I like, right? yeah, I like right. it. You know, I like keeping it to myself. I think we've always had a dope city, and it's just it's cool that everybody get, else it's gets to see it. Yeah. Um, for me. It, 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 Personally, it didn't matter whether anybody else is, but business-wise and just for us to grow, yeah, everybody got to know, yeah, you know, exactly, so that's yeah. what's happening. Now. As long as you don't have, like, outsiders coming in and trying and to dictate still, where things mm, are going. Yeah, well, you know, that, that'll that probably happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, but if you build up a strong scene, like an independent scene, because, like, with Atlanta... We built up I mean, Tim Hortons and Burger King just came and bought it out. <laughs> what you going to do? Yeah, so that's, <laughs> but I, I think, but if people are starting, look at uh, Rhyme Sayers mm-hmm. out in Minnesota. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the else is in Minnesota? Yeah, but they yeah. have the Sunset, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Sunset, Fest, Sunset, no, Sun, what is it called? Somerset? I can't remember. Some, some festival yeah. where a bunch of people come out, mm-hmm. you know, to that city. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing else going on there. Yeah. It's like cows yeah. and fields and, you and, know what I'm saying? And they bring them all the way out there. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and, I mean, I think, and that's just from, I've seen them grind and going to smaller places and just for years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think, I think that's probably like the formula. It is. And that's what we're doing right now. You yeah. know? And that's what we're doing right now. And that's why like I said, for these I mean, there's, there's so many cranes up in our city right now. There's oh, so right? many. I, I, I wouldn't, I would. I would dare to say that we we probably have the most cranes like on our like in our city period. Like, when I say cranes, I mean the building condos yeah. like crazy. Yeah, so everybody's moving there. Every, yeah, it's just and you know, like I said, I like I knew I always knew it was dope. So yeah. I kind of liked having it to myself. And now people are coming in. I understand we need that to grow. So. Now the thing is, because you don't want to become diluted with all these people coming in. Yeah, what you gonna do when the money comes? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like a, it's a, yeah, it's a curse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like I'm from Orlando. Well, I'm not from, but I live in Orlando, mm-hmm. and it's like one of the UCF is like one of the largest schools now in the country. Mm-hmm. Before it was just like a mad small school, but now everybody's there. Yeah. And then you have all these people coming from where they're coming from and bringing that with them. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could be good and bad also, because we also have the Full Sail University, mm-hmm. and same thing, but those are like mostly like artists and yeah. creative types. Yeah. So then they're bringing their backgrounds. I mean, it's cool, it makes like a big, but now Orlando's kind of known for just being almost like everything. Mm. But now we really don't even have like a def- definitive thing, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, just, and that's what I'm afraid of. I think that's what I'm, um, I mean, Canada period has always been, uh, this is like something that goes back to like the radio days. Yeah. Like, you know, that's why they, they put together the CRTC, which is like our, uh, like the organization that regulates our radio play. Oh, okay, so, like, like our FCC. Yeah, okay. so we have, and we, and we you know, we have a Canadian content percentage that they have to play oh, and all so that stuff yeah. to protect that. Yeah. This started back, you know, back in the day, yeah. Fessenden, like See, back, dope. you know, this, this started a long time ago. Yeah. There's a history that goes all the way up. And actually, one of, the, one of my teachers in college, his his father was one of the people that was fighting for that oh, and was part of that whole revolution. And, yeah. you know, just making sure that Canadian, because, you know, 
even in the 60s, 70s, 60s, 70s, it 50s, they were, of, all yep. the, the American influence, so yep. they were trying to keep... And like, Beatlemania this, and all that stuff. Yeah, so they're trying to keep something Canadian, that's and, and that's how we've been able to go. So hopefully we could still do that, and we don't sell out yeah, totally, yeah. and then we, it should be a good balance, having yeah. all the... I mean, the it's new, dope, it, because like it seems that the government supports the arts also, right? I mean, oh, yeah, man. We give did, yeah. grants and funding in there, right? Yeah, we do, but the thing is, we also don't have... Def Jam, we also don't have G yeah. unit, we don't uh, But but I think like I mean, well, the government is kinda helping to maybe you be able to have that. That's what they're trying. Growth, that, yeah. you know what the I'm purpose saying? of it what they give the grants for mainly I um is is they want to they want to invest in something that's moving. You know what I mean? So yeah. you could be really yeah. dope. But yeah. if you're not doing yeah. anything yeah. you know, with it, then they're which probably, makes sense, you know. Yeah. They, they, but if you're really dope and you're doing a little, something, then they'll, they'll encourage you and then yeah. and give you maybe a couple of grants and then you know see what you do with it. Yeah. And then if, but if you just fall off, they'll stop giving it to yeah. you. Know I think mean? Eternia. Eternia, yeah, that's dope. I tell you, I'm on my, I'm on my, I'm on my Canadian hip hop. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I play a bunch of joints. Swollen members. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, the whole battle axe. Manchild has put out an album. Uh, who else did I play? Of course, Socrates. Yeah. Underground yeah. Days, one of the greatest damn albums ever. Yeah, he put yeah. out. He just put out a new album too. Oh, word. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm a little EP. That. Yeah, yeah. Okay, dope. But so, uh, but your project now, mm-hmm. Saint Sincere. When did that come out? Uh, zero seven fourteen fourteen. Is that right? Oh, word. Yeah. Ah, it's dope. Okay, so it's still brand new. All right, so it's still got, brand new. We'll be performing some joints on tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna perform a few joints on it tonight. Be Pretty girl loss. No, no, come on, that's no. the song. I know, but yeah. nobody. I know, I would love to, but that's there's so there's so many other songs before that too. Yeah. Not because they're bigger, just because songs that are already out, people know. Or just like, um, and Pretty Girl Lost, I really, I, I love, I love, I love performing it. Yeah. I've only performed it once, but and I performed it with Layla, the, the, singer. the singer on it. So I'd like to have her. Okay, you know what I mean? no doubt, really yeah. Get it in. All right, word up. And so uh, again, that's tonight. I, I think I just broke the table. <laughs> <laughs> that Canadian heavy hip hop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> We're powerhouses. Out so, uh, so what's next? I mean, like, because we need to try and get this Canadian awareness mm-hmm. program going or something. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean, so mm-hmm. any plans after like the A3C? Is there any more stuff to try and? You know. Well, I mean, just just you know, trying to get out to y'all, you know, mm-hmm. blogs, and just keep active interviews yeah. and all that. We got I'm doing the Black Milk real short, uh, small tour in Toronto, in oh, Canada, right. Montreal. We're doing Toronto, Montreal, and Ottawa. Okay. Um, you know, and just 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 keep pushing, you know, yeah. and um, like you said, you know, we we're kind of going out and investing everywhere. You have to kind of get out there, and yeah. be, you know, with some mobility and get out there, and, and you know. All of us are kind of putting the word out there, so yeah. that's 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 all that's gonna and just keep putting out music, period. Yeah. You know, and just keep keep going with it, because otherwise, um, I think what happens is like when, especially in a smaller market, yeah. people get frustrated, yeah, and then they just stop putting out stop. music. Yep. You know? Same thing in Orlando. Yeah, because there's no there's no motivation. You know, even no matter how much your friends tell you that it's great, yeah, it's like well. It's great, but I'm sitting there with these boxes exactly. in my house. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know? I think well, and I think a lot of times people don't really push it the way they should. It almost yeah. as if it's supposed to just like it's supposed fall to on your lap. Well, I mean, it gets it's a little um, frustrating when you don't when you when you they do when you do go out there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And it doesn't happen. Like I've seen That's, people yeah. go through that where it's like they do push, they push, they push, yeah. they push, they push. But, but you know, it's like I think a lot of it's about finding your audience too. That's you know what I'm a saying because if you do a certain type of style, mm-hmm. but then you're on like if it's underground and you're trying to get on with some big major artist, yeah, you're wasting your not, time. Yeah, they're not gonna feel you it. You could do that for 20 years, running hitting your head against yep. the wall. I mean, I, a good example of that is like the Art of Fresh, like um, uh, Slacker and Do. They, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. they got their group. They went out to the, to to Asia, yeah, you know, oh, or where? Singapore and all those places. They're yeah. huge out there. See, yeah, you know what I mean. And that's you can find your market. You know, it's like, and that's a, that's a really good point because you know. Because Once you find your market, you're good. Yeah. You know? There's a thing called uh, Kevin Kelly put together the thousand true fans. Mm. And the whole thing is if you can find a thousand people that are willing to spend a hundred dollars on you in a year, mm-hmm. that's a hundred thousand dollars. Dude, I've already you can, I've been preaching this I don't even know how long. <laughs> I I have my my number is a hundred thousand. Okay. I'm like, if I get a hundred thousand, well, first, like, I have steps, so I'm yeah. trying to, okay, 25 right. to 50. Yeah. <laughs> so, for my, right now, you know, my, my short-term goal is, is 50,000. Okay. If I get 50,000 people, yeah. you know, that, that online, I mean, not necessarily that they're going to buy my shit, but okay. if I have 50,000 people that yeah. I know in my network, yeah. then when I put it out, 50, these 50,000 are ready, they already know my shit, they're yeah. ready fans. Yeah. That means if I get, you know, 5% of them. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? That's enough. See, and I, I figured like to buy like, something. Yeah, you know, I, I do know a 10%. lot of stuff where uh, like like where they be like promoting shows or whatever. I kind of find out like if you do like a fifth of what. So if you won fifty thousand, mm-hmm. you can get like probably like ten thousand would really do something with you. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Mm-hmm. And it's probably below that mm-hmm. another that will really do really something. Yeah. It will probably be around that thousand. And what do you need? I mean, if, then you put then you put, you put the power in your hands at least financially because, you know, we can work on music, put out two or three projects a year. Yeah. And like you said, if it's a thousand people, you sell it for ten bucks. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And then t-shirts. And t-shirts. And and, stuff, yeah. You know what I mean? And the the merch. You know, um, Tech Nine and all these guys. Yo, killing Strange that. Music. See, that, killing that, that is the mu- Strange Music. Uh, Rhyme Sayers mm-hmm. and like Stone Snow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they did it themselves. That. And they, then once you get that amount of people dealt down. down, then you can start forming uh, collabor- like things that make sense, collaborative projects with other companies. Exactly. That may not, but you know, that want to be able to reach your audience. Mm-hmm. So I think it all starts with just trying to build that audience. Just build that, yeah, I mean, that, that 1,000 number is good. Yeah, you know what I'm you saying? Know, that's, that's a little bit more manageable. It's a little understand? bit more manageable. Like I said, I said short term, but 50,000 is like a long term. Because if I could live with that. Yeah. Even if, you know, for the I lab, I don't need millions of people. Because you got to think about it. If you have 50,000 people or 1,000 people in a room, that's a lot of damn people. That's a lot of damn people. You don't need a million followers on Twitter. No. no. Because that, they don't even pay attention. I mean, and you, 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 you know, you're selling your music, right? Yeah. So 1,000 people buy it. And you know that the guarantee them 1,000 people are going to buy it every time you put out three projects a yep. year. That's more than most tour. people make. And make sure they want to come see you. Yeah, you know yeah. Like, and then touring and merchant, like, you know what I mean? just But just off of just sales of that, that yeah. record alone. That will allow you to do the tours but, yeah. and keep it going. Well, you cut out all that the middleman nonsense, like, what the hell? What yeah, right? You, for, you know what, what I mean? Yeah, because... These thousand people, who are right here on my Instagram. Here you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm going to rhyme right now, and I'm going to sell it for $2. Here you go. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna see you tonight. Yeah. Say I'm gonna try and get some uh, actual uh, performance footage too. I'm gonna put it at the end of this uh, interview. Okay, you know dope. And so it should be awesome. Dope. All right, so again, we're gonna do a little bit more in depth joint, talk mm-hmm. about the background and you going to school mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. You okay, yes, 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 yes. Send me more music though. I need no more doubt. joints for sure. Let people know. For all sure. Right, cool. So we're gonna be out here. Thank you again, King Ray. Oh, how can people reach you on? Oh, online, online, just go to www.kingrain.com. You, 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 so you it's not even the kingrain.ca or no. You got the dot .com. That's I what I'm talking about. Com, yeah. I got right. the dot. I, 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 I jumped like, on that what? early. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped on that early. So. All right, I just didn't do anything with it till like now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's R-E-I-G-N. Yes, that's right. K-I-N-G-R-E-I-G-N. R E I G N dot com. Nice. Right, and it'll cool. give you a link to everywhere, my Instagram, everything. And that's why, like, I like when people say, "This is my website." Don't not this, 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 and this, and this. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. website. Yeah, bam. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Everything you need to know. People ask me, "What's your Twitter?" You, uh, it's our show dot net. It's on there. Just, Simple. It's our show dot net. That's it. So, all right. So, uh, and that's where you'll be able to find this interview. It's our show dot net. All right. Cool. So, thank you very much, sir. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna catch you all later tonight. All right. One up. Peace. 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 Yeah, I can't turn back now. It sound like an old slave song, right? We just we got too far in the underground. We in the railroad. We Harriet, we we gotta keep going. We can't turn back now. I got one more. Cause we got a whole lot of people we gotta get on. Like I said, we flooded with time in our fucking city. Don't don't believe the hype. It ain't just one. Yeah, yeah. Same problem you got, we got. When they see me, and they see this. I see this when I see me. So listen. My neighbors are terrified because I fit the description. That type of tension is what leads to conviction. Sometimes a suspicion can create the perception that every young Trayvon has a gang connection. That their perception helped them win an election. Promise to clean the garbage, meaning me and my brethren. Someone so need and found a better investment. Love never lost with monetary affection. Why is that? Because from the start, they never had a connection. I hear deception is an honest profession. It's like they don't know, they don't show, or they don't care what goes on in T.O. Yeah, DJ Grouse, they think I'm a killer. DJ Grouse. 
You think I'm a killer? If I was, there would be none realer. I'd forever outsmart him. There would be none iller. Authors would write about me based on my psyche. The lives took, I would pray for each night. Psycho killer. Y'all sing it. It goes psycho killer Norman Bates. It goes psycho killer Norman Bates. Like no killer, no man, Yo, boss, new to my country, yet yeah, they look at me funny. Cross the street, call the beast like I need intervention. I'm a good guy, feel like a walking exception. That's why I want to give them what they expect. Rob them and beat them down with my man is method. I get caught till the court, I've been under suppression. But that was the board that claimed that I'm a child of a lesson. So I turn them all the way down. Tell them I'm with I want to turn it up and tell them how they oppress us. This feeling tense, I'll be called the aggressor. They think I'm a killer. Yeah, put your hands up. Yeah, put your hands up. Yeah, put your hands up. It goes psycho killer. They think I'm a killer. If I was, there would be none realer. I'd forever outsmart them. There would be none iller. Authors would write about me based on my psyche. The lives took. I would pray for each night. Psycho killer. Sing it, psycho killer. Psycho killer. Say yeah, say yeah, say do that shit, that kick rain shit, say do that shit, that kick rain shit, DJ Grouch. By the name of King Rain. I'd love to do more. But we got some badass motherfuckers coming up behind me. So I don't want to mess with nobody. I had a ball. One love. See, in the third grade, this is what you told. You was bold. You was so. Now they saying juice left some heads crack. I bet you Jay Clampy wanted money back. See, East Point Atlanta through this roadblock. Tell my all this flow traffic got to stop. So the big.